tablets running Android. Although you can see this is running on the latest Android 5.0 Lollipop, you actually can't really tell because Nokia has put its Z Launcher over the top. Now, the Z Launcher does look really neat. You can see this is your home screen where you've got some of your, some of your key apps. Now, to find new apps, all you do is simply draw a letter on screen and the tablet will then search for any apps beginning with that letter. You can see Drawing T brought up the Twitter app and TED. Now, you can just search for your list of apps alphabetically as well by swiping over to an app list here. And you'll see familiar Android things like the drop-down notification panel where you'll still get access to key settings like brightness and so on. If you're not keen on Z Launcher, you can get rid of it though and just use a standard Android Lollipop interface. And if you are keen to try Android Z Launcher, then you can actually get it for your Android phone. Now, the interface looks nice and sharp and colourful, and that is thanks to the 7.9 inch display that has a 2048 by 1536 pixel resolution, which is very high definition, so everything does look really nice and crisp. Now, it's running on a 2.3 gigahertz dual core processor as a 64 bit Intel chip, and it does seem to be pretty swift. Now, the design of this thing is very familiar, although still very nice. You can see if I turn it around, we've got an all metal aluminium body that's got this sort of brushed matte finish, which feels nice, although does look very similar to Apple's iPad mini, of course. If we look down here, we can see with these uh, drilled speaker holes, and an interesting addition is the USB type C connector here. Now that is the new version of a USB connector, which means you can plug it in either way round. So no more of that awkward swapping when you go to bed. It's fairly lightweight and the metal design does make it feel like a very premium device. Uh, on the back here as well, we can see you've got a five megapixel camera and there's a two megapixel camera on the front as well for video calling. Now the N1 is already on sale in China and it costs the equivalent of about $250, which is very affordable considering the tech is inside this thing. Sadly, there is no word of a wider release yet, but we are hoping for more information in the coming few months. I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, and this is the Nokia N1.